got barely 700 to 800 feet. Smoke is on, so he's ready now to tumble the airplane, so stand by for the lynch of act as up he goes head over heels in love with Lynn, and he wants the world to know as he tumbles the steerman around and manages to get the airspeed up and fly right out of that. Now he's going to head right back up again into a tail slide. In other words, he's not going to kick it over this time. He's going to let 2,100 pounds just fly backwards. And now he's got to be careful because he can come into a flat spin when he comes out of that. So power comes off, and indeed he's in a flat spin. So now he's in, now he's got to get the engine going. He's got to get the airspeed up. He's not flying yet. He's still not flying. He's still not flying. Now he's flying. And with just feet to spare above the water, he pulls out. And of course, uh, gives us a little look see on the bottom, as he's as happy as I am right now that he's still back up in the air, well above Lake Ontario. Now he's going to make the airplane look like it's made out of paper and balsa wood. He's going to take 2,100 pounds and make it look like a falling maple leaf. A little tribute to us. Now watch as he just on the edge of the stall, into the wind, cuts back on the power, brings the nose up a little bit, and that airplane looks like it weighs nothing. That, folks, is a 2,100 pound falling leaf is what it is. And he has got to get the power on shortly and fly out of that before he uh, experiences the freshness of Lake Ontario. On comes the power, down goes the nose, and with inches to spare, he flies out of the falling leaf. And you haven't seen anything yet. Because now he's down low, where the old barnstormers love to play. This used to be a crop duster airplane in the 70s when John found it. And boy, that's something he knows a little bit about as well. So he's quite confident it used to be down low, but watch how low it is. And he's very pass, and he's diverted pass, and he's giving you a wave, folks. For, for the love of God, wave to him. He's upside down again, waving the wings. John, you can't be up. John? John? Uh -oh. He's got it going again. Whew. If he does that again, folks, please wave. Wave vigorously so that he doesn't stay upside down too long. As over he goes again and back down to show us the harried pass. Talk about high angles of attack. Watch what he does now, just inches, inches above Lake Ontario. Getting closer still, that wingtip and that tail, right on the edge, right on the edge. He comes down nice and low over the water to give you a real look-see at the top side of this beautifully restored 1942 Steerman. And he's not done yet. Watch for that airplane to be snapped around again and turned around before he puts it back on the ground. Seeing over the nose of that airplane is not an easy thing to do. The old tail dragger with the big radial engine doesn't give him much visibility. So approaching the airport, and of course with that upper wing too, he's kind of restricted. So some of the easier ways to look when lining up is to turn it upside down again. Even though that's not a good idea to do for very long. So John, 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 there we go. And keeps the engine rolling so that he can snap it around. After having a look-see, he snap rolls this airplane again and sets up for another harried pass down the show line before he heads back over to Toronto Island Airport. And he's actually flying sideways again in his harried high angle of attack just inches above the water. Inches, ladies and gentlemen. Wow! I swear I saw a perched up into the front cockpit. That's low now. Rick, I just need to be held. I need a hug. Look how low he is. Give him a wave, folks. He can see you now. John Moore. John Moore in that beautifully restored Stearman biplane. What a pilot from Minnesota. So happy to have him here winning the biggest awards in the air show industry, and you can see why, doing these aerobatics in this old, restored 1942 Stearman. The incredibly talented John Moore. And an encore flyby. Again, give him a big wave, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be looking. Out of the air.
play. Hello, John! He's waving at us while he does this. Incredible. And that's what barnstorming was all about, ladies and gentlemen. And could you see the smile on his face? Can you see the smile on my face? I'll call that one the announcer stand pass. That was great.